morning everybody this is cute hey birds they run they look so awkward there when they run come on come on birds <laughs> they're so excited I love the turkeys all right, I want to feed my birds and take care of them. I love them. Hey, everybody. Melanie is milking the goat happily. The goat, I wish I'd have caught. When the goat runs out, she comes out so happily and runs straight over to her food. All you got to do is open the gate and she runs right on over here. This is the happy goat. The other one is not so easy to deal with. So, Melanie's doing morning chores, her morning chores. I just finished working on the video. Um, I come out and I feed the birds first thing and uh, check their water. And then I go in and do my video. And then Melanie milks the goats, normally while I'm still finishing the video, but I'm done early today. And everybody has their chores, everybody has their place in the off-grid homestead. And uh, everything flows nicely, right Melanie? Everything flows real nice. Um, I'm in the process of trying to get these uh, these tires changed so we can move this log splitter. We want to move it over to the woodshed where it's going to stay. And then all of this wood. A lot of people were, were talking about how the wood's going to rot on the ground. That's true. The wood on the very bottom will rot. But people around the world stack wood just like that. I mean, everywhere I look, I don't see wood off the ground the chipmunk anyway um so i mean it's it's not i'm not the only one that puts it on the ground but point being this is just for now to get it out of the work area so we can start our uh, chicken coop a chicken runway and then we'll be splitting this as soon as that's done i'm going to be working on the um for the this <laughs> log splitter I'll fix the log splitter, and then we'll be running the uh, the log splitter and splitting firewood and restacking it properly so it can cure. So this was a staging area for uncured wood. It had to go somewhere, and there it is. And then once we split it with the log splitter, everybody says you should just throw it in piles randomly and let it cure like that. So I don't know where we're going to put it, but... We uh, probably will do just that. Anyway, uh, lots to do. Birds are having their morning drinks. And I'll talk to you guys when we get rolling here. I'm going to get out here while it's cool and cloudy and start pounding some steaks. Going to get this done today. So clear out a little bit of brush. And uh, again, the stumps, really, everybody keeps asking about the stumps. The chickens don't mind the stumps. And I'm not going to drive any trucks through here, so I'm not going to rip out any transmissions, as people have suggested, uh, or rip open any tires. But chickens don't mind it. They don't have wheels or transmissions, so uh, the stumps aren't going to bug them at all. Now, stumps that are in the way, there's, where is it? I can't even see it now. There's a stump here. We cut them flush, and uh, that looks higher, I think, on camera than it is. We cut them flush, the ones that are going to bug us, and uh, that that doesn't uh, interfere with anything at all. I mean, it's not that one's not totally flush, but with the rounded top, it isn't going to bug anything at all. We've been driving through here with the garden tractor and uh, wheelbarrows and garden carts and all kinds of stuff, so that'll be fine. Now, these three here are probably going to have to go, because I'll be driving through here later on, so these three are going to have to be cut flush. And uh, we'll do that later because it's going to be a long time before this is all done and I can drive through here. But that's the plan. So I'm going to get to it. Hey everybody. You may remember there was a big scrap metal pile here. It's gone. My uh, neighbor came over and took it all away. So we even loaded up his truck for him. And uh, we're getting the place cleaned up. We're working on having a straight shot view straight out there from the side of the house with no obstructions, no tools, no equipment, nothing. It's gonna be a clean, clear shot. 
so it's going to look really good out here soon. Um, it's raining on and off, so I don't know how much I'll be able to grab the camera, but we're going to start on that chicken area right now. That's the chicken nuggets. <laughs> She's gonna get about double that size, I think. She's just a baby. Hey everybody, looking different. Open it up. Before we, we decided before we start the chicken coop, 
this tree had to go because it was going to go this direction. All the others will go other ways, but this one here was one that was going to give us trouble. So uh, that one scared me too because it was leaning towards the goat pen in a bad way. So we used to come along attached to this tree over here and uh, it worked. It went precisely. Look at that. Almost perfectly in an exact straight line down. That felt good. I should have recorded it, but uh, it was raining. So I could have had Melanie out here. Actually, no, I didn't want Melanie out here. I had her all the way back by the uh, motorhome praying that it would go right. Because I was nervous, I have to say. But it is, it's down. I'm just resting before I finish the rest of that stump or that tree because um, that was some hard cutting. That's some hard oak. But, oh boy, so many things could have gone wrong in this narrow spot. So, I'm very happy that it went where it did. What's Melanie up to? Melanie. What's <laughs> Melanie up to? <laughs> Sweet potato pie. Sweet potato. Chips. Chips. Oh, it looks perfect. Looking good. She hand sliced all of these. What are the potato sticks for? Yes. Fries? Oh, you're making fries? And, or did you start making fries and then chips? Yeah. Looking good, Melanie. I love sweet potato chips, Melanie. <laughs> it's raining out, but work goes on. And on and on and on. So Chris is chopping up the little stuff. We're hoping to get rid of all this. So uh, when I'm not cutting big firewood and he's assisting me in that, or we're building something, Chris is gonna be cutting firewood. And then that's going up in the uh, wood shed, the firewood shed. <laughs> 